It seems better late than never. DICE has been dropping different weapon hints, different weapon changes in the CTE. And right now I'm bringing you two different massive weapon changes that seems like DICE wanted to do from the beginning when Battlefield 1 first released, but for whatever reason they didn't have the technology or they didn't have the ability or they couldn't get these weapons to operate properly. Welcome back if you want it's your boy Rump Spanker and right here right now we're going to jump into the General Liu Rifle and the M1903 Experimental and I'm going to give you some, I'm going to have to derail the hype train here, I'm going to give you some problems that one of these weapons, massive problems that one of these weapons is having with these new changes i know everybody's cheering the crowds are cheering because these weapons are getting some crazy changes but or we're testing some crazy changes right now in the cte for them but uh, there's a lot that we need to go over very very quickly here because you need to know this information so first off the general Liu, what is it getting it's getting a bolt action so what's so cool about the bolt action we might say the semi-auto was fine already well if you're used to using the rsc 1917 like i am and you really enjoy that two hit almost a guaranteed two hit kill from any distance well think bolt action now for the general Liu rifle that bolt action might give us an increased amount of damage per shot it might make the General Liu rifle a great option for those of you medics who already like the RSC 1917, but you want to pack a powerful punch in a bolt action rifle. That aside, I didn't really see too many issues or too many problems there, but the 1903 Experimental, that's where we're going to focus most of our attention in this short video. Basically, the 1903 Experimental, you can switch between three different modes. You got the K bullets, you got the 30 out of 6 rounds, and you have the the bolt action, the Peterson device. Basically what the Peterson device does is in history what it was able to do is it made the weapon actually change between the different fire modes. You got the infantry variant or you could switch to the basically the semi-auto where you're firing pistol rounds or switch to the K bullets, whatever you wanted to do here in game. The issue, the problem, what I'm seeing here with testing getting my hands on this weapon is these simple facts as for switching these pistol rounds it's pretty quick it's pretty quick don't get me wrong because in real life it took about 15 seconds to swap out the peterson device and change up the weapon however the weapon is still weak shooting those pistol rounds is extremely weak if you switch to the infantry variant if you can check out the weapon stats the, the sweet spot on this thing if you're able to switch it out into the infantry variant the sweet spot is still at 100 to 150 meters it looks like this thing is keeping the sweet spot range as the m1903 sniper the problem with that is you're now going long distance it's one of the farthest it's really long distance with iron sights does that make any sense like don't get me wrong i applaud you if you were an excellent scout listen i love sniping myself but at great distance, you really don't want those iron sights. Now, let's say you do want those iron sights. Fine. For sake of argument, let's say you do. As far as switching the pistol rounds, first of all, you have to wait while the Peterson device is equipped, which does look pretty cool, by the way. It does look pretty cool. But the pistol rounds are extremely weak. Basically, you can get a maximum of 34.7 damage and then a quick drop off to as low as 50 damage per shot at just around as close as 30 meters guys that is absolutely weak so let's say you're going you take it out at enemy long range with the infantry variant and all of a sudden a sniper or any class comes up in close quarters so you take a couple seconds switch to the peterson device but now you have an extremely weak firing weapon at your disposal forgetting the time that it takes another problem that i noticed with this weapon is switching to the pistol switching to k bullets or switching to anything your spot flare whatever you wanted to do would revert the weapon back to the default of the semi-auto mode so for example if i would have taken the time placed the peterson device there and then if i went to the infantry variant i started to notice that as soon as i pop a flare as soon as i switch from the weapon and i would go back it was automatically back in the semi-auto mode so again that's just a couple serious issues that this weapon has that's really going to need to be fixed before this thing is actually released as far as switching it to the peterson device it looks pretty cool don't get me wrong but this weapon just doesn't seem affected it's weak at close range very weak at close range and then when you go to the infantry variant at long long distance you really need to hit that sweet spot at really really long distance i don't see too many people using this weapon let me know what you guys think am i wrong am i being too critical of some brand new stuff that they're adding to the game and in my opinion i think it's a little too late i think a lot of these changes a lot of these things should have been added previously but let me know what you guys think down below hit that like button hit that subscribe button 
I hate to derail the hype train, but somebody's got to do it. It's your boy Rump Spanker, and until next time, I'm out of here.